we have problems in Oakland. Uh, school system, 30 kids in a classroom, six books, no chalk. Kids walk into school, most kids have something in their pocket. You're thinking to yourself, a knife. You're thinking to yourself, a gun. Think inhaler. Oakland was not designed for a green economy. In some ways, uh, for the past 40 years, it hasn't been designed for any economy. We have an asthma epidemic in Oakland because of the amount of pollution. We are just now at the beginning of this green wave of new technologies uh, that are environmentally friendly, and that green wave now has to be designed to lift all boats. What do affluent people, when they're concerned about the uh, negative economy, the gray economy, tend to focus on? Spotted owls, uh, which is important, uh, polar bears. In my neighborhood, you go around talking to people about polar bears, <laughs> they're not feeling you. It's easy to, to say, oh, well, we want to have you know, factories that don't pollute. Well, where are you going to put them? When poor people talk about, low-income people talk about, people of color talk about the gray economy, we tend to talk about asthma, cancer, Katrina. When you talk about eco-equity, you're talking about building a green economy that's strong enough to lift people out of poverty, where there are real green pathways to work, where there's real wealth building opportunities. Let some of these young African Americans be the people who figure out how to sell solar panels and let them become the entrepreneurs that actually create whole new markets. You know, we could have solar powered boom boxes and everything else. We can't just keep sending our children away to funeral homes and prisons. We've got to do something. We put forward what we call our Build Oakland Green uh, proposal. Anybody who wants to come and do, and do business in Oakland in a clean way, in a green way, they're going to go to the front of the line. What we're saying is the next big play in the economy is going to be greening the economy, turning away from the suicide economy to a sustainable economy. Let's make sure those communities that were locked out in the last century's pollution-based economy are going to be locked in in this new clean and green economy.